folks, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be tying the ice pheasant tail. So essentially it's just a pheasant tail with some flash on it. Um, it's got a bit of a bright dubbing at the front to attract some, you know, it's just some attention and some, some trigger strikes. In the vise I have a size 10 steelhead salmon hook um, from Togan's Fly Shop. And for the thread I'm just going to be using some brown uh, 70 denier. And if I forget, please forgive me in advance, um, but I'll try to leave the full recipe in the description below. Um, so check that out. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna start roughly just maybe halfway on the hook shank here. And keep in mind, this isn't your traditional sort of resident trout nymph. Um, not as small or as delicate as you need for, for a resident. This is a steelhead pattern. Um, so we need some bulkiness, some flashiness. So for the tail, I'm just grabbing some pheasant tail. I'm grabbing a, a pretty healthy bunch. I really want the tail sort of just kind of thick and, and, and bushy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a, a rough measurement, a little bit shorter than the hook shank, I think. Cause that's gonna come in, we're actually gonna tie this into the bend of the hook. So I'm gonna take my measurement there, snip off my excess, pinch wrap, secure that on top. And I'm gonna work my way down into that bend so the tail's facing down. Then I'm gonna work my way back up to the top, further securing the tag ends. And now we're ready for the ribbing. For the ribbing, I'm just using some small copper wire. Just gonna secure that on the near side of the hook. And I'm gonna butt that up right against the tail. For the body, for the abdomen, just, I mean, there's a variety of choices. You can use some dubbing, um, sticking with a sort of a pheasant tail pattern. I'm just gonna grab, I'd say maybe five or six fibers of pheasant tail. And I don't want those brittle, brittle tips tied in. So I'm gonna start about a quarter from the tips. Secure those in. Cut off my tag ends. I'm just going to do a quick little to turn whip finish. And then for my first wrap, I'm gonna do this manually. Cause I like to make sure it's really butted up there. And then for the rest of it, I can use the rotary function. and create a lot of the way. So 
secure that off, cut off my tag end, and I'm gonna counter wrap my ribbing. Then I'll start close and then sort of open up the wraps a little bit more as I get closer to the thorax. So that's secure, and now I can helicopter this out. I'm gonna work my way back a little bit. <clears throat> I do want a pretty healthy, pretty healthy thorax, so I'm gonna work my way back a little bit here. good about there and for the wing case I'm actually gonna be going with a brown scud back just gonna nip that off and I just want to make sure this stays nice and centered good there and now we're ready for some dubbing so for the dubbing um, I'm gonna go with this burnt orange prism dubbing again go nuts with the colors um, orange yellows blues pinks uh, steelhead love these bright colors Okay, now we're gonna flip over our wing case. Cut that off. And then we're going to build a nice kind of healthy head here. And ready for a whip finish. Looks good there. Now, before I actually brush out this thorax, um, I'm actually going to put some UV finish before that, just so it doesn't get in my way. So this is the uh, Loon's Thin Formula. And why I like adding the UV is that I'll show you once it's done. It's because the brown sow scud back is kind of semi-transparent. Um, it makes the dubbing underneath 
really pop. Just making sure that's nice and even. Gonna cook that with the torch. Should be good there. And now we're just gonna pick out more of the sides of the thorax. Because remember when this is in the water, these fibers will be swept back, right? As it's drifting or even on the retrieve. So just got enough there. And then before I cut the ones that are too long, I'm just gonna kind of see what this looks like, what it may look like in the water. You can see some of those are getting a little too long, getting into my tail and stuff, which isn't always a bad thing, but. Just getting ready to some of those super, super long ones. <sighs> and now that is done. So there it is, folks. This is the ice pheasant tail for your steelhead. Um, give this give this a shot. Different sizes. This was a size 10 salmon hook. You can go 12, um, and you can go even larger as well. And you just want to have maybe like a bushier tail, maybe a thicker body on the larger versions. Um, and then mix up the dubbing, mix up the colors. Um, so fantastic pattern. Hope you give it a try. Appreciate you watching. Have a good one, folks. Cheers.